Hey YouTube, this is Hugo101, recording a screencast on behalf of Geeks Tech. Um, today I'll be reviewing Rockmelt, which is a browser that is currently in beta, and a lot of people say it's going to be the next biggest browser because, as I'll show you, it has um, it's basically a browser that is all about social networking. So it's all about updating your Facebook, updating your Twitter, um, getting your, your latest um, videos from your subscriptions on YouTube, um, latest articles from news websites, blogs, that kind of thing. And it's, it's amazing. I've been really thrilled um, with it. And it is a, it's a fork of Google Chrome, as you might have noticed. Um, but it also has the options menu that is um, somewhat like the one in Firefox, which is interesting, and um, it's, it's been really good. So I made a new Facebook account for this so that I could talk to myself and not really reveal um, any information about anyone, um, hopefully. Well, you'll see some names, but um, please don't go searching them. Um, <laughs> Yeah, um, but I'm, I'm sure my friends won't mind. So, right here we have, um, so on the left, we have the Friends Edge. And using this edge, so you have your, your favorites and people who are online. Um, so just here. So online and favorites. With this sidebar, you can chat with your friends like that, and then you can send messages to them, so send Facebook message, and that comes up. Hi, how are you today? Then you can include a link to the current Patreon, so youtube.com. Then you can just hit send, sending message, and then Hugo for YouTube will receive that message. My internet's really slow, but um, yeah, it did send. And these chat windows are detachable, so click and drag to tear off window, so you click that away, and then it comes up here, so you have the chat window and the browser window. Um, but I prefer to leave them um, hooked up to here, so if you, if you click on it, then it opens up, click away, closes, but it'll still be there. Another thing you can do is you can share. So you can say, post this to my Twitter or to my wall. So I can just post this and say, um, this is YouTube, and post that to my wall. Or another great thing that you can do is you can share it with your friends. So you can say, so you click and drag to my friend, share, share with Hugo for YouTube. And then I hover it, like I, sorry, I unclick. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Um, you can send it via chat, message, or post it onto their wall. For now, I'm going to send it through chat. So I click it, and it pastes it into chat, and I just hit enter, and it posts it. Well, it sends it. Um, so then, on this side, on the right side, we have the app edge. Oh. Another thing, both of these edges can be turned off in the Tools menu. This hasn't been released yet. Oh, sorry, the Edges menu. So you can just turn that off or turn it back on. And also up here, you can click like that and then update your status or update your Twitter. Now, as I was saying, the App Edge. So here I have my Facebook feed, Twitter feed, Oh My God Ubuntu feed, and uploads by Geek Tech, as well as the Geek Tech website. Now if I click on Twitter, a box po pops up, just like um, on this side, the friend edge. It's the same type of box, and it is still minimizable, um, but it just shows your Twitter feeds all the way along. And you can uh, go to twitter.com and 
all sorts of options. Um, there's that button, so you can just look at the. It, it's just like so stuff by you, or that includes you, and timeline. So then I'll go to Oh my God, Ubuntu, and it's the same kind of thing, except it shows the articles that have been posted. I really, really love this. It just it means I don't have to go to the website now. Another good thing about this is if you click on a link on an article to read more, it doesn't open it in the same window. I hate having to hold control or right click and click uh, new tab. So if I click on this, it opens it in a new window and it comes up. Another thing is you can, um, sorry, wrong one, you can hit share and you can share it on your wall without going to the page. You just hit share and you can post it to Twitter or to YouTube, I mean to Facebook, sorry. Next I have uploads by Geek Tech and it just shows the latest videos. Well, all the uploads, but the latest videos. And then I have the Geek Tech website. And so what this does is it formats the feeds, the RSS feeds on that website. Then down here we have the green button. You can hit it and click add feed. So you can go YouTube blog, um, all sorts of things, BBC. Just um, you can hit enter URL and enter something. Um, if you type in, for instance, YouTube.com, it'll say, oh, well, there's no feed for that, you know? But it will come up with the YouTube blog. So please bear in mind that the website must have an RSS feed. Next, well, I'll, I'll just skip that. Um, the Facebook one is exactly the same as the Twitter one, it just has Facebook feeds. I just don't want to share the names of all my Facebook friends on YouTube. I'm sure they wouldn't mind, but it is about privacy. Up here we have the invites. So I can um, invite my friends. So I've invited Tom, Clash, um, to Rock Melt. So you start with three, you invite someone, and then if they accept, then you get another one. So you, you should have three constantly if they accept. Um, I signed up to Rock Melt um, myself. I applied for a beta invite, and I got one. And um, I was very happy about that. So you can apply for one at rockmelt.com, or if you're lucky and you contact me, I can send you one. But um, I urge you to sign up and use the invite if I give you one because I don't like losing invites. Um, yeah, it is absolutely amazing and I'm quite sure it'll be the next big thing. Um, yeah, that's all I really have all I really have to say for it. Um, there's also the bookmarks bar, which um, is in Google Chrome. It's in every type of browser, really. Um, so, yeah. And, um, you know, Facebook's the same. Uh, most websites are. So, there's not really much else to talk about. Um, it's absolutely amazing. There, there are no browsers out there like this. I mean, there's Mozilla Firefox that has plugins, but they wouldn't go this far and they certainly would slow Firefox down. So this browser is revolutionary. Um, so I advise applying for an open beta or um, open beta invite, sorry, or um, you know, just, just wait till it comes out. I haven't really found any um, bugs in it, although um, Earlier on today, it did sort of lag up. I don't really know what was going on. I was loading a couple of YouTube videos and just messing around with settings and logging in and out of my YouTube account. It, I don't know what happened there. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and um, thanks for watching.